I've been so impressed with all of the new wood items that they have out at Dollar Tree. I found this one, I had to pick it up, and when I saw it, I thought this would make a really great tray to put underneath my holiday soap. So what I'm gonna do is just remove the staples from the side of it, as well as the twine. And then I'm just gonna place it in my kitchen with my holiday soap on it. This next DIY is a quick and easy candle DIY. So from Dollar Tree, I picked up some miniature ornaments. I also picked up some greenery pieces. Now I absolutely love these greenery pieces. If you haven't grabbed them at Dollar Tree yet, go ahead and pick them up, they're awesome. And then you just need any candle. My candle is from Target, but use any that you already have. And I'm gonna start by taking the tops off of my ornaments. Now I went with some gold ornaments. And then you're going to hot glue the ornaments to the base of your candle. I was alternating the finish on my gold, but you could do all the same ones, whatever you like. I would say the key is just make sure the top of your ornaments are facing up. Then I'm gonna start cutting off the sprigs on my greenery piece. I had varying sizes, so I'm gonna alternate tall with the shorter pieces. I want to add the sprigs to the top of my ornaments to make them look like miniature trees. So I added some hot glue to the bottom of my sprigs and put them on the top of my ornaments. And I did that all the way around my candle. And you can just set this candle out with your decor. Now, if you guys are on Instagram and you're not following me, consider doing it. I am working overtime on Instagram, posting behind the scenes, shop with me, short form videos. So go check it out at Liz Femic DIY. I was really excited to find these black candle holders at Dollar Tree. They are definitely new this year, so I picked up two of those. I also grabbed some green tapered candles. I will link them for you down in the description box. Along with any other products you see in this video, what I'm wearing, it's always down in the description box. So I wanted to do a fun paint pour technique on these candles. So with my paint pours, I like to use this product called Floetrol. It works really good to kind of make your paint more runny, if that makes sense. So if you have a thicker paint, it just kind of makes it so it's better for a paint pour. So I mix some of the Floetrol with a metallic gold paint. Honestly, you can use any paint you want. I know some people are like, do you use specific paint pour paints? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's really not necessary, but this product you can buy, I think we got this at Lowe's, so you can pick it up there. So mix your Floetrol trawl with your paint and then you're going to simply pour it over the top. I put my two candles on a box just so I had a surface where they could kind of drip the paint. You're gonna let your candle sit overnight until the paint completely drips off. Now I know some people are like, Liz, why do you waste all that paint? Why do you drip the paint? One, I think paint pour is super fun. It's one of my favorite ways to paint. And two, if you were to use a brush, it's gonna take you several coats to have that thick consistency that you get with a paint pour and you may not even be able to achieve it. So sometimes you need a paint pour if you really want like a strong concentrated color. After my candles dried overnight, I just added them into the candle holders I picked up from Dollar Tree. So I've noticed in a lot of high-end stores, people are putting out matchsticks. I even did a DIY with them, I think at the beginning of this last year. So I wanted to show you how to do it kind of with a holiday version. So I bought one of these glass containers with a lid from Dollar Tree. I also bought a container of their matches that they sell at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna empty the contents out of the glass container. I'm gonna get one box of the matches and they actually fit perfectly into this glass container. I'm gonna put the cork lid back on the top, add a little bit of twine, and you can set these out next to any existing candles you have in your decor.
I love shopping at Dollar Tree and just finding items that I know are gonna be so fun for DIYs. So I found a snowflake garland and I thought this would be perfect for this next DIY. I'm gonna be using a canvas. Use any size you have. Mine is 16 by 20. I bought it in a larger pack from Hobby Lobby, but you could make it larger or smaller. I'm gonna put the garland out on top of my canvas and then I'm gonna take it outside with some blue spray paint and I'm going to spray paint the top of it. Now something happened here and I lost some of my spray painting footage, but I essentially just spray painted over the top of my canvas. Let that dry completely. Make sure there's not any other spots where you need to add in additional paint. Then you're going to pull off your wood piece. Now from here, you may notice that you have some areas that don't look the best. What I like to do is just add in additional spray paint with a foam brush. So I put a little bit of spray paint out on my table and then just dabbed it on with my foam brush. Let that dry and then you have an inexpensive wall art piece to put out with your holiday decor. One of the best and oldest ways to decorate your home for the holidays is to find some sticks outside and spray paint them. I'm gonna use that metallic spray paint that I was using earlier in the gold color to spray my sticks on one side. Once it dries, I'll flip them over and do it on the opposite side. And you can add these to any vase around your home. It's going to be so much less expensive than going out and spending a lot of money on florals. Plus it adds height and I just think it looks really high end. Tomorrow it is Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.